Hello to you travellers and welcome back to the best Karuma channel here on YouTube and today FC24 mods are officially here. Ladies and gentlemen, we've done a little mod tutorial a few weeks ago but it wasn't the proper modding method that we know from FIFA's past. Well, I am happy to announce that the FIFA mod manager has finally been released, which means modding is as easy as ever on EAFC24, and we're going to dive right in and show you how to mod your game right now. Now, of course, because it just came out, there's very, very, very bare minimum mods available right now, but as more come out, I'll make more tutorials and keep you guys updated with what title update we're on and how to install and find all of the new mods. So if you do learn something today, please do leave a thumbs up on the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and enjoy the best career mode series on YouTube, Okoro Chim Wenwe. Also watch RPW Live every Monday and Friday right here on the live tab of this YouTube channel. Ladies and gentlemen, let's dive right in. So first thing you're going to want to do is go to the Readings Kid YouTube channel and subscribe with the bell turned on to be notified when we upload, which is every single day because this channel is amazing. Next thing you're going to want to do is go to Google and type in FIFA Mod Manager. Ladies and gentlemen, version 1.1.5 is finally available. This is the version you're going to want. So this top link here, you click on it and it will open up this page right here. FIFA Editing Tool Suite version 1.1.5. Now, you can get the editor as well. I don't use the editor, so I'm not going to cover the editor in this video. Maybe I'll get it this year and cover it in a different video. But we're going to go ahead and click download on the Mod Manager button right here. And it will take you to this page. Now, in the bottom right here, it will say download. For me, it says save because I've already downloaded it just to test it. Um, so you click download and it will download. Now, once it downloads, you're going to want to open your files uh, by, you know, going to the bottom here and just clicking on your files. Everyone should know that. And you will see this file right here, FIFA Mod Manager version 1.1.5. Now, you will need to extract it. Now, with Windows 11, you can extract it by itself. I use WinRAR, which is why it's the uh, red, blue, and green thing. Just Google WinRAR and download it. You can use 7-zip. Any extracting tool is what you're going to want to use. Now, before you do that, what I do is I make a FC24 mods folder just because if you extract in your downloads folder, it can all get a bit lost. So I go into, you know, one of my files, this is my D drive, and I create a file. So you go new folder, and I create a folder called FC24 mods. Now, inside this fo uh, folder is where all of my mods are. Are gonna go so what I what I do again you don't have to what I do is I drag my mod manager over to my FC 24 mods and let go here so now it is in its own folder now what we're gonna do is right click on it hover over WinRAR and click extract here and once you extract it it'll make another uh, another folder with the application inside now whenever you see the purple and black MM that is a mod manager either mod or an application so double click on the FIFA mod manager application and it will show you two options FC 24 or FIFA 23 it might show you more if you have the games installed um, of course we want EA FC 24 and we're going to click make default just so it automatically defaults to that in future click select and it will open up your FIFA mod manager for the first time of course this is a fresh install so we have no mods nothing in there of course the next thing to do we have to get some mods what I also like to do is make a new folder inside my FC24 mods and type what title update it is. So right now we are on title update 4 on FC24. Um, and in future when the game updates, I'll have title update 5, 6, 7 and so on. Just so I know which mods work and which mods do not. So now we have our mod manager. We actually need some mods. And again, right now there are very, very, very uh, minimal mods available uh, for mod manager. Of course, in the coming weeks, there will be many more and I will make more videos on them. The best thing to do is just type in FC24 mods and see if any mods are available. Now, FIFA Infinity is a great website to check out. Not, not available yet for Mod Manager, but this is where I had the gameplay mod, the unlock mod, the serial mod, stuff like that. Again, none of these work for uh, Mod Manager just yet, but uh, they will eventually. Nexus mod sometimes has some. I don't really use Nexus mods that much, but they have a serial license mod. So if you want that, we're going to get it from somewhere else, though. Oh, look at that. Regis Kid from three weeks ago. Go, go subscribe to that guy. Right there. <laughs> IMS mods is always good. Again, these aren't... Uh, oh! Oh, it is available. It is available. Our branded brand... Oh! This wasn't available last time I checked. So this is one we're going to get. Okay. So we're going to start. Uh, on Twitter, if you go to Twitter and search for uh, this guy right here, MyHeart82TH. This guy is awesome. Uh, he does all of the logo packs that you can see. So you see up here, he does all of the TV logo packs. Um, that we absolutely love. And he has one for England already, which shows Premier League in England, uh, in you know, BT Sports, Sky Sports, all of this sort of stuff. An amazing 
amazing person, amazing mod manager. So go follow him on Twitter and get all of his mods. He also has a Patreon. I think it's like two pound forty or two pounds, sorry, a month to get all of his mods here as well. Uh, so we're gonna get a few from his Patreon. He's the only person I actually follow on Patreon because his mods are fantastic. So you can have a click on the download link right here on Twitter or on the Patreon. You can click on the download link right here and it will start to download. He also has a mod realism all-in-one version 1 for Tile Update 4, which I'm going to download as well. So now we have a mod and we have the mod manager. So there's two ways to import mods. Either you click and drag and just let go and that mod is now there. Or you can click on import mods and then you have to find your mod. So it's a bit extra. You have to go to your mods. Okay, where are my mods saved? They're saved in the download. So I have to find the download. Oh, but I've not extracted it. Oh, but this one I can import. It's a bit longer. So what I do is click and drag in. Of course, with this mod uh, realism, we need to extract it. So again, click and drag over to your title update 4 and let go. And now it is in here. Right click, hover over WinRAR, extract here. And it will make the purple and black uh, actual mod file. Again, click, drag in, let go. And the mod is in now the mod is in but remember you need to apply the mod so make sure you click on it click apply mods now when it's over on the right hand side over here that means it is now been applied ladies and gentlemen now we could launch the game now but i want to get a bit more modding done that viper one was taking really long and it's such a long process instead i found a better web method just go to nexus mods there's one right here with the uh, serial licensing click on files and click on manual download and then click on slow download right here and it will download Bomb just like that. Again, same process. Go to your files, uh, drag it into title update four, right click on it, hover over WinRAR, extract here, and then you get. So we have uh, realism mod, uh, Syria licensing, and the English scoreboard. So now all that's left to do, ladies and gentlemen, is see if they work. So uh, first thing in EA app or Steam, if you use it, you need to do one thing before you launch your game. If you don't do this step, the mods will not work, ladies and gentlemen. So go to EA app, find your EAFC24, click on manage, view properties, and make sure, I'll leave this in the description, just copy and paste it. Make sure dash data path mod manager is written exactly like this with the space in between M, uh, capital M, capital D, exactly like that and click save. And then it will apply your mods. Now, uh, are there any settings you need to change? Uh, no, there will tick. That's all fine. Just click on launch. Data path. No data path command for this game is present in the app. Select the game. Then click man. Well, okay. See, apparently I didn't add it. I'm going to click force add. EA is open. It will close it. You're in the middle of installing. A so yeah, I, I clicked force add. It's going to close the EA app, reopen it, and apparently apply it itself. I thought I just did, but maybe for the first time it needs to feel important and do it itself. Now, it does say it can take up to 30 seconds. Um, of course, it says to, you know, install it on your SSD for faster speeds. The first time may take a little bit, but then after that, it will be very, very quick. As you can see, it's already launching. Let me plug in my controller and we'll test to see if the mods are working. This is the first ever mod tutorial video on EAFC 24, ladies and gentlemen. Again, mods just make the game more fun. These mods will be in Okura Chin when we're the best player career mode series here on YouTube and all uh, player career modes in the future. Of course, again, there's going to be so many more mods coming out in the future as well. Scoreboards, face pack kits, turf mod, camera mod, and more just to make that experience that much better. So the game loads up, you load it as usual into your profile. I mean, I'm not going to create a whole career mode to show you the realism mods and stuff like that, but uh, I'll, I'll just show you the kits, the updated uh, Italian uh, kits and stuff like that. So I guess to test it, you go to edit uh, uh, edit teams, I guess, or edit real players. Uh, and there you go, Atalanta with the real uh, stuff, Juventus. I don't know who else is actually missing it, Ro uh, but Roma, uh, Napoli, as you can see, all have their uh, realistic logos and stuff eventually there'll be a national teams mod with more uh, more national teams i think it was just the syria kids that aren't licensed so there you go ladies and gentlemen the first mod tutorial for ea fc 24
four. More tutorials will come when there are more mods available. Uh, each title update, we will do another more tutorial just to keep you guys updated so you guys know which title update it is. Right now, it's four. I know a lot of people don't know, so I'll do one every single title update so you guys are aware. But there you go. Hopefully, this was easy to follow and you understood all of it. Ladies and gentlemen, leave a thumbs up on the video if you did enjoy and you did learn something. Happy modding. Much of as always, take care and peace. Uh, and also, before you leave, before you leave, uh, click on one of these two videos. I think they're like up here, that left and right. They're somewhere on the screen, right? <laughs> they are. Yeah, there you go. Click, click on, click on one of them. Oh, <laughs> thank you for watching. If you click on one of the videos, um, you can move on to the next one. Make sure you stay on this channel, though, Reading Skin channel. You know, subscribe if you haven't already. Fifty thousand around the corner. One of these. Hey, you know.